Welcome to the Lipis Report. Hi everyone, I'm Nick Lippis and I'm here at Ixia's iSim City uh, and I'm with Michael Giffins. Michael, want to say hi? Hi everyone. Hi Nick. Welcome back. It's good to have you back for, at Ixia for the industry test that we're doing together. Great. Thanks Mike. I'm, I'm, I'm always a pleasure to be here yeah. you know, as well. But we have uh, something important uh, to announce. Yeah, we do. The, the industry has been moving forward and everybody's moving toward a fabric path type solution of one variant or another. And Ixia has some new products coming out later this year that will allow us to help test those as well. So do you want to tell us that the plans you have for the next round of testing? Yeah, yeah, excellent. Well, one, uh, we want to thank the industry for their participation in all of the RFC-based tests that we've been doing and power consumption measurements as well. But we also know that the industry is gearing up for a massive deployment of fabric-based architectures and data centers that really um, want to move beyond spanning tree into more active-active designs. So this next round of testing is gonna be around stressing active-active protocols. So we'll be looking at uh, Fabric Path, Trill, SPB, MLAG, uh, and also some others such as like Fabric as well. So um, we're gonna take this another step forward. We'll still be doing RFC-based tests, but now we wanna also really look at the key critical factor in how companies can start building out these two-tier flatter networks within data centers to help scale their, help their virtual uh, server infrastructures and also cloud computing uh, facilities as well. So that's, that's one part of the announcement. The second part is how we engage and schedule lab time. So um, we're gonna, we've heard that we schedule usually one or two weeks, twice a year, uh, and that might have been a little bit too restrictive for the industry. So we have a new plan. And Michael, you wanna share a little sure. bit of that? Yeah, so as you stated, you're going to keep producing a report twice a year, but we want to allow some flexibility for the customers to come in when it's more convenient for them. So what we're going to propose as we get your prospectus out are some timelines, maybe one week a month for three months prior to your uh, write-up where the customers can come in during that time, any of those windows to get their product tested. So that would allow more flexibility so as they're ready, they can come in to do the test. Yeah, yeah, great. So. Um so yeah, so we'll have um, a larger window of testing. The thing that will stay fixed though is that uh, we'll produce a report in the spring and also in the fall that will have updates to all the new products that have, been, that have come into the lab during that time frame. So that companies can come on in, have their products tested when they're ready to have them tested um, versus trying to rush to come into like the one or two weeks that we have available um, to test their products. So uh, we look forward to you all participating. Uh, you can actually download the prospectus right here. There's a little bar underneath here. You can kind of download the prospectus uh, and then get a fuller explanation about what we're gonna be testing and the results uh, that we'll be looking for and documenting uh, for the industry. And, and our goal is really to help the industry move forward and give IT business leaders and IT architects some real good tools to help them make decisions for deployment and basically take testing, performance, um, failover capabilities out of the equation uh, so they can look at more important things potentially around vendor relationships, uh, overall architecture, uh, quality of products and so forth. So thank you all. Michael, any final words? No, just want to thank you and it's always a pleasure working with you, Nick. Great. Thank you, Michael, as well. Thank you and thank you for watching. That concludes this edition of the Lipis Report. Thank you for joining us. Look for us every Tuesday and Thursday. To get your free subscription to the Lipis Report newsletter, go to www.lipis.com. To sponsor the Lipis Report podcast, send email to sales at lipis.com. We've got to go, and so do you. See you next time.